This is a short story written by me that inspired this album. It is not too cold out, and there is a breeze. As the air hits my face, I feel alive. I'm walking in this park with no one by my side, but even if I had company with me, I would still feel alone. I find joy in the fact that I'm by myself. We all are. Alone to me equals being an individual. It seems society doesn't want me to think for myself. I don't want to spend my time and energy thinking about how I should fit in. The grass looks so green, it reminds me of the wild forest and all the secrets that it obtains of our past, of the earth's past. As I stare at the grass beneath me, I see ants living their lives. I wonder if they can love. It seems that love is a fundamental concept to us humans, so why not animals and insects? The wind interrupts my thoughts with its singing tune. I keep on moving forward and I quickly analyze the way I'm walking. Before I can truly figure out my walking pattern, I see a squirrel in the corner of my right eye. He stops and is looking for something. I wonder what he is missing. He takes a few steps and sniffs. I walk slowly towards him, not to scare him off. It seems the little squirrel doesn't mind my presence and carries on his search. I keep on moving forward and I see on the ground crunchy leaves, ready to be stepped on. I'm not sure why, but stepping on these autumn crumbly leaves makes me feel happy inside. The trees are above me and I witness the leaves unattached from the tree and gently, with the help from the wind, fall to the ground. It humbles me. I begin to feel like a leaf, floating in the wind in which we call life, and soon I will fall and vanish within nature, within the universe. I begin to move forward and realize that during the season of autumn everything looks so beautiful, but everything that looks beautiful around me is dying. I feel like a leaf. I know it's strange to say or think, but I feel like a leaf. Are we all leaves feeding this earth? Hello, how are you? I hear someone say. Like a robot, I answer, good, how are you? I look and it is an old man wearing a gray cardigan and blue jeans. He has a medium length white hair that is slicked back neatly. He calmly says, death is all around us, isn't it? My heart almost bursts inside my chest. I exclaim, that is so strange. I was thinking that in my head before you said hi to me. The old man begins to talk. My love died two days ago, and now the season is reflecting my loss. I begin to apologize for his loss, and my mind starts to race, and why is he telling a stranger this information? Losing her has made me realize how we all are a part of this universe, and we will be recycled right back into it. I speak my mind without thinking and say, I feel like a leaf. The gentle and mysterious man looks at me with a confused face and says, when you fall off the tree, you are holding on to. Those small seconds you are falling down, that moment is your life. He walks away in the opposite direction of me. Feelings in my stomach erupt. It almost feels like a dream. What did that all mean? Maybe life isn't what it seems. I get a text from my girlfriend and it says heading home from work. I begin to understand where my home is. My home is wherever she is. I walk calmly but thoughtfully to my car. I turn on the engine and begin to drive. I'm wearing my favorite gray and white hoodie. It feels so comfortable on me. The streets aren't busy, so I make it home quickly. I open the door and see my beautiful girlfriend and I tell her, you make me feel like autumn. Your hair is dark brown like the tree trunks. Your eyes are hazel and it reminds me of the autumn leaves. Your skin feels like the wind that blows and your hugs feel like the warmth that the holidays bring. She looks at me with her twinkling eyes and says, I love you. I hug her and make my way to the kitchen to get something to drink. I tell her, I met someone today who really opened my mind in a short span of time. I tell her that he mentioned his lover dying and that he understood me when I said that I felt like a leaf. My girlfriend is listening to me intently like she always does. She's a great listener and always makes me feel heard. She says, I don't believe that things happen for a reason, but maybe this concept that he gave you can help you live even better. I agree. I walk to my room and think to myself, Nature is what guides us. I reflect on my day in the mysterious man, ants, grass, trees, leaves, the wind, all of these things are nature. There's only so much we can all learn in our lifetime. What is it that is important to you? What brings you joy? What brings me joy? I'm not sure. I know that love always brings me joy. That is really the only thing that I'm sure of that brings me joy. I walk towards my desk and sit down. I take out my journal and on a blank sheet of paper I write, what brings you joy? I close a journal and I look out my window, and the clouds are dark, it looks like it's going to rain. Then I spot a loose leaf.